Hey, what's going on everybody? And a warm welcome back to the Whiskey Cove. And on today's episode, we look at six of the best whiskies for winter. You know the drill, run that video. Alrighty then folks, so before we get into today's video, thank you to all the new subscribers out there. I've been completely blown away by all the support that I've got for this channel so far. Again, this is a fairly new channel, folks. So if you are sitting on the fence about subscribing, please consider doing that. It really helps me kind of make more videos and really makes me more motivated. I love doing whiskey videos. I love doing content for you guys. So again, if you're sitting on the fence, please consider being a subscriber. And of course, for today's video, we're looking at six of the best whiskeys or the best whiskeys I believe for this coming winter. So when I was thinking about putting this list together, just some of the sort of criteria I was thinking about is nothing too low proof. I feel like the winter months you want something maybe a little bit higher proof. Something to kind of warm you up, right? Maybe some spicy whiskies or some spicy bourbons, and then some rye as well, or some high rye bourbons to go with it. And maybe some finished whiskies that kind of tie into Christmas a little bit there as well. So with that being said, let's dive into the first ball and that is going to be early times bottled in bond. So anybody who knows me or watches the channel a lot, I have a lot of good things to say about early times bottled in bond. Number one, it comes in at a great price. You pay about $23, $24 for this, and you get a one liter bottle. This is, again, you know, this was made by Brown Foreman, and then uh, Sazerac bought it, and I believe now they're gonna start making it from Barton. This is the one with the black top, so this is kind of the uh, Brown Foreman one. You get some of those kind of typical Brown Foreman sweet notes from you, like some really nice like caramel brown sugar, but you also get some like leather and tobacco, so uh, that makes a little bit of a, like a spicy backbone there as well. And this comes in because it's bottled in about 50% alcohol, 100 proof, so it's a pretty solid kind of daily drink to kind of drink around the winter time. So that was early times bottled in bond and it's just a great whiskey to kick things off here. So next up on this list, I chose a little bit of a higher proof here folks and I went straight in with Elijah Craig, uh, the barrel proof. This is the C919. Uh, this is one of my favorite editions, which is why I'm showing you this one. I also have a bunch of different ones where it's kind of like the single barrel store pick versions, or you can get any like the B522, the C922, which you might see that have, has come out here lately. Again, the proof on this or the ABV is 136.8 proof or 68.4 ABV. And this is one of the highest ones they do. And it, it, it drinks so much more less than that. It drinks more of like a 55% alcohol whiskey. Again, you get a lot of those sweet notes, a lot of barrel char with this as well. You get a little bit of like a peanut shell. So you have like a little bit of a bitterness there as well, but not too much that kind of detracts away from the sweet notes. I think for this C919, I must have paid like $55 because it's gradually increased in price throughout the last few years, but it's still great value for money. And in Colorado, this is not a bottle I need to go hunting for. You kind of go find them quite easy. So that was Elijah Craig Small Bash, the barrel proof. So next up on this list, we're going to do a rye. That is wild turkey rare breed rye. This, this when it first came out was pretty difficult to get a hold of, but now maybe not so much. You might still try to, a bit hard to try to find it there. Coming in at 56.1% alcohol by volume or 112.2 proof. This is a non-chill filtered rye. So much like the regular bourbon version of the rare breed you're getting great value for money there as well. I paid about $55 for this one. And if you can't find this, I would suggest maybe buying the Russell six year rye or the Russell's uh, single barrel rye as well. Just note there might be a, a few differences between the Russell single barrels because it is a single barrel product, but those two should be a little bit easier to find than this. If you can, however, find this, you're gonna get some like big herbal notes, you get a little bit like a dill, you get a little bit of turkey funk and maybe a little bit of peanut, but then like the proof and the sweetness and the barrel jar just kind of cuts through all that. And you're left with a really great sipper. That'll like take an ice cube or take a touch of water and it'll bring out some different notes that you can kind of just sip on in a nice cold day. So that was a wild turkey rare breed. So next up on this list, let's do smoke wagon uncut and unfiltered so this is actually batch 40 i've been sitting on this one for a little while because i've had some other ones opened back from january 25 2021 coming in at 58.12 percent alcohol by volume so again getting right up there in proof 
So this is, I believe, sourced from MGP. This is a kind of a high rye bourbon here as well. Some of the flavor notes that I kind of get from this. I actually get like a little bit of touch of smoke from this. I get more of like the corn sweetness and get some big caramel and vanilla notes. And it's just a beautiful sipper. And kind of what I like to do with this, I like to pour into a glass neat. And you kind of, as you drink it and as it kind of acclimates to kind of like the room temperature, it kind of changes the flavor profile. And it almost tastes like you're drinking a different whiskey again they do these in batches so there's gonna be some variation between the batches if you can't find the uncut and filtered you can go for the uncut and filtered the younger by smoke wagon if you're able to find that and you can also maybe go for the small batch version of one of these as well these are becoming more readily available hopefully you should be able to find them in your state if not you play around with those other smoke wagon variations I think I paid about 65 70 dollars for this bottle of whiskey getting up there a little bit in price but again you're getting a high alcohol content of whiskey and it's just a complete whiskey in my opinion so that was smoke wagon uncut and filtered so next up and that is going to be four roses single barrel barrel strength so you're probably thinking that this is a hard whiskey bottle to find and that is true this is selected just by four roses it says by bourbon enthusiasts so generally when you see, see that it's usually selected by four roses and then sent to the store that or has ordered it and this one is the let's take a look here so this is the OESQ, aged nine years and six months, coming in at 62.4% alcohol. So I feel like with four roses, you get between these two different yeast strains. So in total for these barrel strengths, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's 10 different versions of these single barrel barrel strengths you can get. And they all range in age and kind of, they all range in ABV and alcohol content. So you can, should be able to find a pretty good one out there. Again, on this one, the age and height and the alcohol is quite up there as well. So you get like a lot of that oak note from the barrel. And with Four Roses as well, you do get maybe a little bit more spice. I really do pick up a lot of spice notes like cardamom, cinnamon, and like all those wind the spices maybe a little bit of nutmeg there and I know like I said at the beginning I'll try to offer some alternatives and I know this can be a little bit of a difficult bottle to find which is why if you can't find this I would suggest finding the four roses small batch select so it has all those similar notes with those spice notes, but I feel like I get more like a, ch of a cherry vanilla kind of pastry note with this one. Think of like a McDonald's, like a cherry vanilla apple pie. I get a lot from this. And this is also sitting on shelves as opposed to this isn't. So I paid about 75 for this, and this retails at around about $50 as well. Alcohol content is 52% alcohol or 104 proof. So again, you're getting up there. Not as high as this one, but still, excellent bottle if you cannot find the four roses single barrel barrel strengths so then lastly on this list and anybody who knows the channel probably knows that this whiskey is coming and that is of course a midwinter night's dram this is the perfect winter whiskey for me this is the perfect christmas whiskey as well finished in those port barrels again i'll take you back in the uk you generally around christmas and new years you'll drink a little bit of port wine in a small glass and this for me is just like a perfect throwback to that you get the rye that sits in this bottle you get those rye spices that beautiful rye spices and then the sweetness of the barrel and then that just gets cut through by beautiful red wine port kind of note there this is a very difficult bottle to find every year high west ramps up their production of mint winter night's drum again this year the price has jumped up from like 89 to like 120 so keep that in mind and if you cannot find this try to find maybe like a high west double rye single barrel so kind of like a one that I have around here. I have a bunch up here. I have like a vermouth finished. I have a, a Malbec finished. I have a Merlot finished. So if you can't find one that's like a port finished, get like a red wine finished, double rye, and that's very similar in some ways to this whiskey. But if you could find this, then I would pull the trigger on it for that price for around $120 if you've never had it. So that was a Midwinter Night's Dram. This comes in at 49.3% alcohol. This one is Act 10, Scene 6. Uh, for me, this year's version wasn't as good as uh, last year's, the 9 one. So if you're able to find that, I would suggest that one instead. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, folks. These are just some of the whiskeys that I feel you should look out for in the winter months here. And if you haven't not subscribed already, please consider doing that. And if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. And as they say, as we drink through the world's whiskeys one glass at a time, cheers.